here with Dallas for another Big Brother Canada 4 elimination interview. Dallas, how does it feel? Uh, you know, it's a little disappointing, I can't lie, but the experience overall has just been, uh, it's been great. It's been, you know, I'm definitely humbled to be in the situation I was in and the situation I'm in now. You played a very aggressive, in-your-face kind of game. Is there any part of you that regrets that, like not being a little bit more subtle? Uh, you know, my plan was to actually be a little bit more low-key uh, under the radar. But, you know, just who I am, you know, it came out, it displayed out there. And, uh, you know, I have no regrets. I really don't. You know, what you've seen is who I am. And I can't say that I should have did this, I could have did that. You know, that's just not who I am. That decision by Maddie to backdoor LaVita, I feel like that was one of the craziest things I've ever seen on Big Brother. I don't think anybody saw it coming. Can you sort of explain the logic? Because I've been trying to answer that question myself for the last couple of weeks. Uh, you know, I've had conversations with Maddie about it. And basically, she said that LaVita lied to her, so she felt like she could be a threat. There's more to it from that. Uh, I don't think there is a logical reason. You know, Levito is absolutely willing to work with Maddie and myself. You know, we worked together in the past. And Levita kept Maddie safe for two out of the uh, HOHs that she has won. So I felt betrayed on this one. I felt like uh, it was a selfish move. I felt like it was a move that wasn't justified. And I think Maddie will pay the price for it. Do you feel like that's kind of where your game sort of took a nosedive with that move? Absolutely. You know, I think that was almost the beginning of the end. You know, I've had close allies go out the door in previous weeks. But when I seen that we had Jared and Raul, you know, basically in a corner and she decided to take a huge left turn and backdoor Levita, I was just, I don't know, my jaw hit the floor. You know, you seem to really have a focus and almost a fixation on getting Jared and Raul out. You know, looking back, do you sort of feel like maybe that was a mistake? Maybe I shouldn't have targeted those guys that hard? Uh, not really. You know, I, I always want to get out the strong competitors first, you know, leave the weaker competition. So, you know, you know, I, I would have a better chance of winning competitions moving forward. Uh, I was always looking forward to getting rid of the top dogs initially. Um, you know, and nobody wants to throw a punch to those guys and they're going to go a long ways because nobody wants to kind of rock the boat with them. But, you know, I'm an East Coaster, man. I'm always willing to rock the boat. You know, Jared seems like a pretty loyal guy, like a pretty loyal ally. And I felt like one of the issues with your game was that you were loyal, but all the people around you weren't. Is there any part of you that was kind of like, man, I wish I'd put it aside because at least that guy would have stuck with me. You know, me and Jared had conversations where we just related to each other so much and we felt like that could have happened. Um, you know, basically, Jared and I, we wanted to work together, but uh, Kelsey and Raul had a different opinion about myself. You know, that was evident. Um, so even if I would have, you know, kind of got rid of Kelsey and Raul, I probably still, a part of me would have said, Jared, we can turn this around. People think that, you know, we're enemies. You know, let's have the last laugh and create a little diversion here. But, you know, it didn't work out that way. Like I said, I have no, reg uh, no regrets about any of it. And, uh, you know, just the way it goes, man. Does it bother you that Ramsey, you know, sort of like your partner in crime, you know, the, the Luis to your Thelma, you know, like, does it bother you at all that he voted to keep Maddie? Because I thought he was with you the entire ride. You know, I, I also thought the same thing. Uh, I think I'm definitely going to have some trust issues after this whole experience. You know, I looked out for Ramsey and Maddie like they were my siblings. And that's the honest to God truth. You know, I have nothing but respect for them outside of this game. But the logic this season with me, I just had a hard time coping with people's ideas. I, I didn't see that one coming. Like, I looked at Ramsey as a brother, and, you know, I told him throughout this whole week that if you keep Maddie in this game, you will be a target continuously, and you'll keep me, and I will appreciate this, you know, in return where we can win a couple HOHs back-to-back. -back. You've won a POV. I've won two. We can start making these in HOH things, and then we could start to rule this house. But he had another agenda. You didn't seem to appreciate Tim's koala bear strategy. What was your big issue with it? Uh, I basically signed up to play Big Brother Canada, not Big Brother Australia, man. Uh, you know, I try to tell the house that we don't have to play his game. We don't have to kind of, you know, have a popularity contest. And I spoke in front of the whole crowd right in front of Tim saying, you know, I'm not doing it. You guys can do what you want. You know, take it, take it or leave it. Uh, but he said, you know, it'll come down to fate. Uh, you know, with Tim being such a wild card, that had people shaking in their boots. But, you know, I feel like solidarity goes a long way. Loyalty goes a long way. And But people just felt like, you know, I'm not rolling that dice. There's bigger threats here that will go up. So I, I understand the game move as well. 
You know, uh, you you seem to have like so many great moments. Uh, but one of the things that I was kind of like, well, maybe he's a little bit off on this was the fact that you and Cassandra both thought that like Nikki's vote was going to be the most important. Why was Nikki's vote so important? And I felt like you didn't really seem to suspect that it would be Ramsey's vote that was the decider. Uh, you know, Ramsey told me that I had his vote 100 percent through like when Maddie got uh, uh, replaced as a nomination. Uh, you know, votes are crucial, man. You know, I wanted to really have a grasp on on Nikki. There was a blow up in the house where it was just it just happened at a bad time, man. When I was on the block on my last day, uh, you know, I've, I cut a deal with Tim, Nikki, Cassandra, the brothers, where it was just like we were going to go as far as we could in that game. And I, Nikki and Tim had a little bit of a squabble, uh, and it basically just blew up in my face, I feel like. And um, Nikki was actually, I feel like, was the most crucial vote, and I still believe that. Either Kelsey or Levita will be coming back to the house. Um, if Dallas had a vote to keep one of them there, uh, who would you vote to stay? Levita all day. <laughs> no hesitation. Levita all day. And then um, my final question is this. Let's say I had a magic like wild card in my pocket and I gave it to you and it said, Dallas, you can evict anyone. Just sitting on this couch, you can eliminate anyone from the game. I feel like I kind of think I know what you're going to do, but I feel like you might surprise me. So who would you evict if you had the power right now? That's actually a really good question. Uh, at the given moment, I would almost feel like I, I would want to put it on Maddie. I feel like, you know, her time is going to come within a week or so. And I feel like the strategy of the house was basically like, if they get rid of me now, it's just one less person they have to worry about. But where Maddie is just like, they, everybody knows her time is coming within a week or so. So get rid of her now and take the chance on me. It's a little bit of a gamble. You know, I could sit here and say, oh, I'd want my enemy out of the game, Jared. But... You know, I got a ton of respect for that guy. I think that he's actually favored to win the show. So I wouldn't want to take that and just ruin his chances from a wild card. I think Maddie's time is coming, so I'd probably use it on her. You know, uh, my final question is this. You're so good at nicknames, you know, Dally. And, like, you had a million of them quoting, like, Tupac Shakur. Can you give me a nickname? I feel like I really want a nickname from Dallas. For myself? Yeah. No, no, no. For myself. Like, Mertz. Can you go, uh, like, you know, Meezy, something like that? Uh, D, you know? <laughs> you know, uh, you know, uh, let me take a little second. Okay, think I'll, of, I'll give you, I'll give you, like, a, a couple yeah, of seconds. Yeah, Money Mertz. That like, done. Yeah, money Done. Mertz, yeah, yeah, I like it. I like, I like it. it. All right, like Dallas, it. thank you so much. Awesome, man.